this, Mr. Walton? This, Comet, is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. <laughs> Not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here in America. Golly! Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to soar higher than ever before. Are you ready to proceed then? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28. Senior account manager at INAC. Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia. But you probably already know that, right? Subject 10392, you are entering a restricted area. Stop running and surrender now. Subject 10392, turn yourself in or be neutralized. Yeah? You have to catch me first, you jerk! <laughs> Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. Morning, Arcadia. <sighs> Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity of 53% on this beautiful sunny Good Friday morning. Good morning, Arcadia. Morning, Kovacs. What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? Had a boy. Autodroid to full cleaning. I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid. But I'm not into video games anymore. Eh, it's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. Good morning, Trevor. And uh, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Trevor Hills, welcome to INAX Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, 10 months, and 14 days. Thank you for your dedication. Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Hello. Hey, Trevor, are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm, I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, man. Ada, the automated data analyzer is the most powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hey, Gus. You look good, buddy. 
Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending to Ada. I do have fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending to Ada. What? Will Romano? Seriously? But that guy is a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. I'm sending it to Ada. Validated. And, I, and I'm not. But William Romano, man? You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Um, uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through... I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> it's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, Inak Gemini Tower West. Hmm. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Hey! Hey! I'm still working here! My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is... Hey, isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. So, I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grid. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fiji. Ooh, I'd kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway. Yeah, make sure that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? It'll be ready, Romano. Don't worry about it.
Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey, did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? What do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. This can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of beers no, after... No, 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 I, sorry, I, I can't. I can't. Well, it's gotten into him. Leave me alone, damn it. What? Jesus. What the... Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Damn. Or maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's, it's been ages since I had a checkup. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. No thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid on. Hey Kovacs, am I going crazy, buddy? Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Okay, I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Just a few more hours of work and the week will be over. I'll finish here, go back home, have a glass of warm milk, Remember go to sleep. Remember that you can apply for the Edge Travel Grant too. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No thank you. Okay. Today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come on! I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your... What? Gus is... dead. Trevor Hills, please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Now what? What on earth?
Trevor, ah! listen carefully. I don't have much time. As soon as you enter that meeting room, your supervisor is going to congratulate you for winning the Edge Travel Grant. What? what who, who is this? Just listen. Three travel agents will be there with him to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. What? What? Wait a second. I didn't even apply for the travel grant. Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. What? what? Wait! What on earth was that? Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. Where are you going, Mr. I Bell? have good news for oh, you. No, 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 they've seen me. And with this measure, we will. Hey, you can't be here, mister. This is a private meeting. Uh, sorry, I, I'm, I just, I have, I have to, I just, don't mind me, bye. Sorry, couldn't hold it. Take the stairs! Okay, now what do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada room lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the- Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey! You! Strange voice, or whatever you are. Can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't, Don't panic. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Great. All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer for my cell phone. Which, I don't remember where I put. Ah, oh, where did I leave my cell phone? No matter how hard I try, I always have an awkward expression in my ID photos. Here you are. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Clutziest activist ever. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again, and no. here it is. No, 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 Total no, no. system shutdown. Now, Kendra, you better follow the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, of course it's Kendra. Yelling? Oh, you better move your sorry ass and get up here, or you will find out what yelling is. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Wynn, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene, I really owe you one, man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's okay. aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, it's gonna be a while. So next phase, get inside the server room. Can't be caught on the surveillance cameras. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. 
but I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. Ah, here it is. Pretty sure that the board of directors would have gladly erased Kovacs from this picture if they could. All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. If I could have lunch today with anyone dead or alive, it would definitely be Elijah Walton. Vivian Walton, the beloved heiress of the Walton Empire. Ugh. Don Walton. What a prick. Shit. I forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system. And I don't know his passcode. Oh, <laughs> look at this. I can't believe it. You're an absolute disaster when it comes to security measures, Gene. But thank God for that. Ta-da! Door open. Good. Now I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. Yes, all cameras are back to- Hey! Oh, uh, Kendra. You think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal! Oh. Oh! You mean that? Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato at the cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra, I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work too, you know? Hi, Vio, I thought she had caught me. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. But, wait, your voice is... Oh, I forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, damn it. 
Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. <sighs> yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Cameras are ready. Great, I can switch between them. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. You'll find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I, I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too, yes. What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the backstage of a TV studio? Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this, is, this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Ada means artifact disposal area. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that... that doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just... INAC can lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of... Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Let me show you the truth for once. Please, Trevor, have a seat. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Experience love, drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. Vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? What is this? This, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. What? Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Well, yeah, everybody knows Aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera, and that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Joe with an ordinary life. Too ordinary. Too ordinary? Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... be retired from the show. Re retired You... you mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But... they can't do that, right? They can't kill me, can they? Not legally. But again... Who's gonna miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody's interested in your life, remember? Oh my god. This... this is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Good. We can try to use your anonymity to our advantage to get you out of here. 
But first things first, you have to leave the INAC building and get to the closest monorail station. Hey you, whoever you are, I, I don't see a way around here. There is a wardrobe case back there. Bring it here and climb on it to get to that platform. Is that better? Now let's try to find a way out of here. Not, not since PE in high school. Because of my metabolism, I don't easily gain weight, so I don't usually do any. Okay, okay. I'm not here to judge your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going, will you? My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner! His name is... Trevor Hills! A 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about! My god, you're so mean, Vivian! I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. I know the rules. All grant winners must be publicly announced, blah blah blah, but honestly, I don't see the point in it. Who cares about this guy? Anyway, let's take five and we'll record it in one go, okay? Vivian Walton is a horrible person? I think Evil Bitch describes her better, but it's that evil bitch who hosts American Arcadia Live feeds every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8pm. Three-hour specials where the Walton Empire's true heiress drags her family legacy through the mud. <sighs> and the audience loves her. So yeah, she's a horrible person. Sorry, man. 
Have you seen a guy around here dressed in 70s clothing? Yes, about 20,000 every day. I work in American Arcadia, man. Can't you be a little more specific? Yeah, Caucasian male, fair. Hold it right there, Mr. Hills. Oh! Have you seen a guy around here dressed in 70s clothing? Yes, about 20,000 every day. I work in American Arcadia, man. Can't you be a little more specific? Yeah, Caucasian male, fair. Hey, what happened? What do I know? Let me fix it. Fix it. It's on again. Again? Damn it. There we go, it's on. Ah! Back on. Mannequins? They've put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats? Yep. Now you're getting it. <gasps> Damn it! Trevor, hide quick! Any news? Not yet, but we've got all the exits covered. Good. He's not gonna get out of this building. Unless he grows a pair of wings. Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Me? I'm an account manager! The only things I can find are... mistakes and balance sheets! <sighs> Let me think. Um... There's a... Uh, there's a window in front of you, right? You're not thinking of... We need to get you to the closest monorail station as soon as possible. There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Inoc building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered didn't you get? Oh, this is a seriously bad idea. Oh god, this is really high. Would you please calm down, Trevor? I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. Uh, uh, uh. Trevor? Trevor, you're doing all right. Okay, just keep going. I just realized that I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now, for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like, like my turtle? What? No, man. Kovacs, the Hungarian scientist and architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, our pet Kovacs. I was a huge fan too. I named my turtle after him. Dude, why do you keep bringing your turtle into this conversation? Well, I just thought... Uh, forget it. Trevor, watch out. Don't let the bargain basement Beastie Boys see you. The what? Uh, I forgot you don't know the Beastie Boys. Thanks for going to shut a malfunction don't let the travel agency. state, please. Hexagon, please revert shutter at my location. Thank you. well with all this physical stress, despite your age. What do you mean my age? I'm 28. You're... oh, oh, you're... Uh, sorry about that, I... Uh, uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. You see the guy? Nah, there's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? A stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on.
Now what? N now what what? Just jump over the gap and move forward. Are, are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh, come on, Trevor. Even my grandpa could jump that. Mr. Hills, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself, Mr. Hills. Oh, shit. The travel agents are here. Uh, jump, now. Ah! Please, stop running. Stop immediately. Run! Keep running, for God's sake! Get over that crane, Trevor, quick! The crane! Yes, trust me! He's going over the crane! Uh, oh, no, 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 no! I'll try to cut him off. to area 84 -F. Wait, you jumped into a swimming pool from the 20th floor of a building? <sighs> yes. And while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. Although in hindsight, that jump was nothing compared to what I had to do afterwards. Better already? Dry enough? No, I'm still soaking wet. Sorry about that, but we don't have much time. Get moving before the travel agents get down here. Oh, man. Wow, is that a helicopter after me? That's gonna be expensive. Cross the monorail tracks, right? You were gonna say that, bitch. I'm afraid so. Oh, damn it. Tower? How is that possible? He jumped to the... What's going on? Somebody stop that car alarm. Now, Trevor, run! There he is! Uh, catch him! Come run! here, you! Kid or whatever you call them. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what did I say it wrong? Sorry, I did just I got a bit overexcited. Whew. So, where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Grand Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. A badge? Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club. Or discover the magic of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your access badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your access badge to get into your hotel room and start having fun! 
Even our auto-droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your access badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and... Do not break the fourth wall. Grand Hotel Cygnus Station. Please watch your step when exiting the car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. I see. So, what's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Beyond this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not even worth trying, is it? Nah, forget it. That door won't open. Just keep going until you find a storage door. I'll open it for you. Hey, there's a giant storage cabinet blocking my way. Ugh, I'll take care of it. Hey, there's an empty cabinet in here. Trevor, do you think you can fit inside that empty cabinet? Kovacs, I was wondering, wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. Um, Kovacs? Yeah? You're always saying, we are doing this, we are planning that. 
I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. The incident was known as the Arcadia 6 Breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that today, almost 30 years after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. Jesus, this is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. Thank you, everybody, for being a terrific audience. We're the squad, and we hope you're enjoying our music this evening here at the Sinners Pro Restaurant. And now, your enjoyment is an instrumental version. Merle Jefferson's Don't Be a Fool. Not that song again, damn it. You know what, Kovacs? I was just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade. Right before the bell rang, Scott Horvitz, the official class bully, picked on me. I didn't even fight back, but the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I had been waiting for all year. Well, that miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. Uh, I'm sorry, Trevor, honestly, but it's the only way. There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. How, how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so... The ninth floor?! Shh! Pipe down! The auto droid's coming! Listen, when you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that... Well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase... really stands out. Next, please. Hello! Welcome to your holidays in Arcadia. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure, here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. 
Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. <sighs> of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great! Just a few more things. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. And finally, remember, on your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. Arcadia was never intended to be this crazy megalopolis. That monstrosity is so high that it even sticks out of the Arcadia Dome. This is constantly repeated to all Arcadia visitors. It means revealing something from the outside world to an Arcadian-born citizen. It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a five-star rating. Poor fools. Only a megalomaniac like Vivian would order her face to be carved in stone. <laughs> that this dimwit is the most popular person in the city really sums up what Arcadia has become. A musical genius and another unknowing prisoner. I'm crazy about this song. Poor Trevor must be crazy about it too, but for different reasons. Arcadia's greatest artist is a talented young woman locked in a gilded cage. We'll probably have to get Trevor in this thing to get inside the Cygnus. The Adams mascot is basically Comet on steroids. I believe the Arcadia Adams have a special agreement of some sort with the NFL. Man, I have dreamed of going to Comet Land ever since I was a kid. But knowing what I know of Arcadia now? No way. Don Walton and Senator Milton Burbank. Full. After that handshake, the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to legally adopt and raise children. Not that I'm a fan of the original American Arcadia, but it wasn't as bad as what we have now. Edna, I'm home! <laughs> I revisited some episodes recently. Still hilarious. I think I saw some episodes of this Comet reboot. Not bad, but it didn't have the charm of the classic shorts. Looking at things like Mohawk Mike, it's no wonder everybody says the 80s were the worst era for Walton Media shows. This movie is so cool. I love dark fantasy. I worked on the reboot during my first six months here. It was affected by the big shutdown of 2018. And science always finds a way. 
My childhood was built on Arpad Kovacs playing songs about science to his piano. Best TV show ever, period. It was in this season that American Arcadia went from being a family reality show to the horrible human zoo it is now. When I was a kid, I used to blink my left eye every now and then to see if I could do magic like Ginger the Witch. <laughs> People thought I was having a seizure. Oh, I love this movie. A 1946 classic with Joan Fontaine and Gregory Peck. What a weeper. The ending always brings me to tears. That guy won everything, even the Oscar for Best Picture. The award-winning 1950s film. The evolution of the most popular cartoon dog in history. Ush, Comet's costumes in the 30s were creepy as hell. This guy looks like the dude in a bear suit from The Shining. Comet's first short, Spaceship Boogie. <laughs> it's probably the most popular, but I think there are better Comet shorts than this one. Walton always said that his beagle Monty was the main inspiration for Comet. Ah, oh, Elijah Walton's distinctive blue suit and tie. The Blue Fountain Mall gets its name from a famous club where Hollywood writers used to have drinks after work. Elijah handled everything from his office, back when Walton Media was awesome, of course. Legend has it that Elijah personally supervised every script at Walton Media. Most of his writers said that it wasn't easy to work with him, but I guess that genius comes at a price. His macho one-liners might sound a little outdated nowadays, but man... <laughs> Bogart as Doc Wolf is film history. Oh yeah, I grew tired of the Barry and Slim slapstick movies quickly. But the series film they did was good. The adaptation of one of H. A. Ryan's horror novels. I've never ridden this thing, but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Nice souvenirs. One of these mugs was in my AA welcome pack after they moved me to the 21st floor. INAC, the biggest company that never existed. Hey miss, you can't enter here. Sorry, exit only. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> oh. Let's see what this ride is all about. Welcome to Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. 
For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and supervise your children. Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota. Influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. But Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow, a city named Arcadia. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia, or Old Arcadia. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11 moon landing. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream. To build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great-uncle Don continued. Now, it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. 
You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. Broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. Its number is 6711. This must be the cast member's room. A red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the ride section where the problem is. Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. Ah, an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. Not this one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. Haha! <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override. <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. Ugh. Silent animatronics give me the creeps. No. No way. After everything it took for me to get in here, I am not going out through oh, the emergency exit. Now I have to crawl inside that duct. My luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone.
This table shows the locker assigned to each car and seat. Where did they put my suitcase? Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. I'll talk to you in three days. Trevor? Trevor, can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there, now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. You need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. Yeah, it's preparing the room. Just ignore it. I need to turn the instant delivery device on. What the? Turning off. Room is not ready. Please stop turning on devices. Turning oh, stop off. turning everything off. Knock it off, Wally. Turning off. <laughs> That was a great idea, Trevor. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. Yeah, although I kind of feel guilty about that poor droid. Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, 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 you didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the instant delivery car. It's, it's okay, Kovacs, I don't need to know every detail. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. Uh, just leave it to me, okay? Uh, g give me a second. Well, well, well. Where are you, you tacky hitty? This is to open and close that hatch. Hmm. This changes the direction of the conveyor belt. Ah, there it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it to the suite. Let's see. Which rotates this thing.
think I figured it out. And here is your luggage, mister. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass! You mean the badge or the droid? Now, Trevor, go to the elevator on the left side and join Group 6. They'll be exiting the city soon. Okay, whatever. Hello. Hello. Hey, you in Group 6, pal? A PA called Group 6 to the bus stop just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, I have to say your look is amazing, man. Straight from the good old 70s. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Good old 70s? Trevor, shut your mouth. What year are we in? We're in 2023. We're in the future? Lower your voice, damn it. It's Arcadia that's in the past. It's always been. I'll explain it to you later. Have a nice day in Arcadia, sir. Thank you, but I'm afraid today is my last day in the city. Oh, we're so sorry to see you leave, but please come back soon. Trevor, what are you doing? You planning on becoming BFS with the clerk? I was just being polite. What is being polite an old-fashioned custom in 2023 or what? Group six, please, uh, come to the backyard bus stop. Group six. Group six, please come to the backyard bus stop. It's almost over. There's the bus. Don't do anything stupid. Just get on and zip your trap until we reach the checkpoint. Group six? Group six, please. Uh, with me, here. I I know we were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes, but uh, there seems to be some sort of last minute problem with our bus. Uh, but don't worry, our good friend Antonio is gonna try to fix it, and I am sure we will be on the road in a jiffy. So uh, don't worry, folks. I guarantee you we will make it to the central station in time. Oh, no way. You gotta be kidding me. Hello? Kovacs. Who are you? How did you get this number? This is Breakout speaking. I am number six. Listen carefully. The Chief of Security is headed to your office right now. He will be there any minute. M my office? B but what's go- There is no time. Listen, act casual and try to answer everything calmly. Avoid mentioning any kind of involvement with Trevor Hills. O okay, uh, I'll try to remember. Good luck. We're counting on you, Kovacs. Hey everybody, so uh, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, which one do you guys want first? Okay, the bad news is that the bus carrying us to Arcadia Central Station is definitely out of order. But, but, the good news is that you get some extra free time until a new bus comes. <laughs> you get to do some sightseeing. Isn't that great? <gasps> oh, come on. I know, I know, I know, folks. I am, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, uh, but I will see you on the other side of Memory Lake. So please make your way over there and just wait for the new bus to come. Hello, Kovacs. I can see one of the... Beastie guys, and he's looking for someone. No, 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 Damn it, what do I do? Move, Trevor, stay hidden. Hello, my name is Marcus Javert, Arcadia's chief of security. My job, to make sure nobody leaves Arcadia. My means, 
whatever I consider necessary. My aptitudes, hand-to-hand -hand and armed combat, high-speed pursuit, open field manhunt, and detecting when someone is lying to me. If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh, uh, of course, no, yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Your name fine. Is Angela? Let's proceed. Um, <clears throat> may I ask why you're... I'm afraid that information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an extremely exceptional situation. And exceptional situations call for exceptional measures. Right now, I'm gathering information from all Walton stage technicians. <sighs> so, is this like a an interrogation, or...? Think of it more as a loyalty test, if you will. I'll read you the questions out loud. Please select whichever answer best represents your views. I'll display the possible answer according to you. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing then? According to you, which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in Arcadia? Elijah Walton? A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Revealing? What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. Please stay silent. Which one of the following images best describes your five years, eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? The recording camera. Interesting. Let's proceed. Loading the next question. What does the initiative known as Breakout mean to you? They are an NGO in favor of the liberation of the citizens of Arcadia. Are you sure you want to answer that? You can change your answer if you'd like. Mm, no. No, I want to keep my answer. A controversial opinion. better have an explanation for this. Refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences or likings. What? What? I'm waiting. The sugary drink? I don't think you understood what I was asking you. But let's go on. Please indicate which one of the following patterns you consider the easiest to recognize. yellow and orange comet pattern. Okay. Oh, just one thing before the final question, Miss Solano. If you lied to me with any of your answers, I will know. A subject 10392 clear text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? Yes, he's in my assigned citizen's grid. You remember the name of a single citizen of the 712 that you have been assigned? Interesting. <laughs> That's, uh, because I have a good memory, and, uh... Hey, is everybody ready? Did you get some really good picks? Okay, folks, we're gonna regroup here for a second and wait for everyone to get back. That's it. We're finished. It's been a really productive session. Uh, okay.
D uh, did I pass the test, or...? I will contact you again as soon as I have verified the results. And I will be watching you, Miss Solano. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Psst, whatever. As long as you have a badge with the right number, the more the merrier. We are leaving now. Into the bus, please. Oh. Okay, I'm back, Trevor. So, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's that all about? Well, they suspect me now. I'm not sure if he busted me, but I don't know. We better haul ass, man. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess it's Angela? Yeah, it is. Angela Solano. The truth is, I really outdid myself in concealing my identity. But once Trevor had heard my real voice and my real name, what sense did it make to keep using an alias? Okay, group six, please go ahead and get into the bus. <clears throat> uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the Arcadia Central Station Checkpoint. Uh, as you know, after so many years of requests, Arcadia, the city of tomorrow, uh, is finally opening to the regular public. This entrance behind me is not only the first of many access points for all our visitors, it is a gate to utopia. Either by visiting its iconic landmarks or strolling through its magnificent avenues and parks, every visitor will now be a part of American Arcadia. And our brand new security measures will guarantee the well-being of our visitors and that of all the Arcadian-born citizens. We're making sure that they can safely enjoy the posthumous work of my brother, Elijah Walton. And we're hoping they take in all that this wonderful city suspended in time has to offer. Thank you. Uh, any questions? <clears throat> yes. Mr. Walton, is it true that these new security measures are related to the incident known as the Arcadia 6 breakout? Um... <clears throat> I, uh, I, I won't be addressing any uh, questions related to unfounded rumors. So, uh, but I will be crystal clear about this. Nobody in his right mind would want to leave a city like Arcadia. Y you know what? The, the press conference is over. Thank you. Okay, folks, we are finally here. This is the Arcadia Central Station. Uh, my name is Rita, and I was your tour guide today. Please have a safe trip home. We all hope to see oh, you again. finally. You're gonna make it. Yeah, looks like it. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. What am I gonna find out there, Angela? Oh, well, uh... The world outside is not that different. Just more modern and uglier. Much of the technology you already know from here also exists out there. You know, shared cars, cleaning bots, flying drones, we have all those. We also have something like Adanet, but with no restricted content, of course. What else? Um, we waste our lives looking at screens, but that's not too different from you guys, is it? Holy cow, if they weren't planning to kill me, I'm not sure if there is even a reason Remember, to get out of here, the way you put it. Remember, access badge at there all times. There is one really good reason to get out. You've lived Please all your life me. inside a gilded cage, and for the first time... You're gonna be completely free. Yeah. But that is a valid point. <laughs> Definitely. Everything was going fairly well, all things considered. I thought I was really close to getting out, but of course, I didn't know about the jingle back then. Do you... do you hear that noise, by the way? It sounds like, like an air raid Remember siren in the distance or something. It's at all times. really annoying. Huh, no, I don't hear anything. Thank you for visiting really? Arcadia. Really? It's pretty loud. Don't pay any attention to it, Trevor. Just get through the checkpoint and leave. Please, remember that you are required to wear your access badge to exit through the checkpoint. 
Thank you for visiting Arcadia. Jesus, that sound is unbearable. Next, please. Keep going, Trevor. We're really close. You'll be in a train outside Arcadia in a few steps. I'm I'm not feeling too well. Trevor? Trevor, come on. Move. Uh, uh, uh. It was a nightmare. Take the worst headache and the worst dizziness you've ever had, smash them together, multiply them by ten, and you still wouldn't come close. Then the security guy says to me, Next, please. But I couldn't move. And if that wasn't enough, Angela says to me in the earpiece, Trevor, Trevor, come on, move. I can't take a step. I just can't. Are you feeling all right, sir? Yes, I just need a... <sighs> security, please, come immediately. We might have a breach at gate B in lane 15. And then I see a six-foot-tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say, Subject 10392 Clear Text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title II, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor. violating Get the, the hell Burbank out of there Act. now. There's no use. I can't. Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you gotta move now. I Trevor, do what I say, coño. 10392, stay right where you are. Subject 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors, get the subject now. I couldn't believe it. Until then, interceptors were an urban legend. A high-tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci-fi code name. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an interceptor. Most people just referred to him as the Tackleberry, because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. You know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket, and all that. Anyway, I had worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a hundred meter dash while feeling like complete shit. 10392! <gasps> Stop running! Angela! Angela! What? I'm feeling better! Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better! What was that? Hey, unit C! Now! And keep running. What? Ah! Interceptors on the tail of subject 10392. Why do why do these guys keep calling me a 103? It's 103 something. It's your citizen ID. My what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run. to the station. Interceptor unit B. Proceed. Shit, they're coming from the escalators. Hey! Yeah, I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. The elevator, hurry up! 10392, stop this nonsense and surrender! Back, 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 now! Back, back. Stop running! 
392 is escaping through the roof. Get him. with that noise. I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting that. I... You, you gotta hide for a while until I come up with something. I just... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, I have an idea. Angela, Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a... Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you're... Help me with that door, Angela, would you? Yeah, just a second. What the? Trevor, shit. They've locked my computer. I, I, I don't know what, uh... Oh, hey, Jean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I can't do a thing. What on Earth? What, who are you talking to? Lockdown? Really? Oh, uh, what happened? Ooh, that's bad. Okay, I'll see you in the lobby then. Yeah, I hope they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Trevor, I need to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and, and... Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Wait, wait, wait. You plan to hide inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit-down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever you got right now. No problem. I'm at the Spectrex cabinet. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay inside the cabinet until I'm out of here. I'll be back as soon as I... Hey, Kendra, what's up? This is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. When called by your last name, please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Thank Can you. Can you believe it? Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's... that's... really crazy. And an insider is helping him. One of us. They get the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it? Because... why? Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but... between you and me, Angela? Black and white movies? Cartoons for kids? But American Arcadia? There is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead. But this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has changed the way we perceive society and even... <clears throat> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... <sighs> I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning, you know, right? Okay, see ya! Dios, callate la boca, ya! She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the 21st floor! Okay, preserve my admin permissions, preserve my admin permissions. Jesus H. Christ, how am I gonna do that? All cloud services will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay, uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela, think! You gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Steganography.
a word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through a red lens, everything in it suddenly makes sense. And that's what steganography basically is, concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how to hide a code in an image, a text, or even a song. Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today. Because science always finds a way. I got it. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Hmm. Any VHS tape will do the trick. Karsten Saab. Please exit through the lobby door. This is the video editing room. I gotta get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is A.S. They're calling the S's now. E.B. 21 blotty blah must be long gone for sure. Whoa, Z.W. <laughs> I bet this guy will be the last to exit the building. Good. Now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is, and clone his ID. Fernando Salcedo. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. This guy doesn't look like the guy in the ZW picture. There he is. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. There he is. I'm sure he's the storage room guy. Let me clone your ID real quick. And it's done. I'm not proud about doing this to a Walton Media coworker, but I really needed your credentials, Zazu Waluigi. Tiffany Schneider, come to the lobby exit. How do I get to the video room? Whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job. Jeez, this looks like a damn maze. And I hate mazes. Seymour. Seymour? Seymour. Oh my God, no. Seymour. Very funny. Who's the wise ass? Oh, I'm. 
I'm sorry. I hope this works. I hate squeezing into tight spaces. Rakim Sharp, come to the lobby exit. This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record in here. Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, está en español y todo. So, let's get down to business. The blue screen shows the Comet tape digital data and the large monitor displays the admin permissions on my cell phone, which I need to hide. So I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape. Yes, 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 I got it! Now I'll run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything from my cell. See you at home, admin permission. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass! What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? That was close. Angela Solano, please. Hey, Angela, ¿qué pasó? What took you so long? Ah, oh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero, what's up with the VHS tape, eh? You have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje puertorriqueño original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. <sighs> and then I went home to have a heart attack. Which took me a while, since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. Welcome home, Angela Solano. Oh, 
at last. Now I need to convert the video info back to code again to recover my admin permissions. And check on Trevor too. Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin permissions? Shut up! I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you... What the hell happened at the checkpoint? The jingle happened. The chick... What? What? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason for your departure from Walton Media? Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs, but that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act? I doubt it. Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? How come you guys didn't know about the jingle? Because it did not exist when we got out. <sighs> Damn it. If Trevor has that jingle thing in his head, how are we going to get him out? Remember I asked you to preserve your admin permissions? You did that, right? You are going to need them to operate one of those rental cars that some tourists use. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? Yes. Now get him on the road in one of those cars, and as soon as Trevor hears that noise again... I take control of the car and get him across it, right? That is it. Whew. Easier said than done, but I'll try my best. Good luck, Kovacs. We are counting on you. My god, how I love Mexican B-movies. The classic 1985 Goblins and Gravestones basic rule set. My lucky dice. Ah, oh, the complete DPD series. Cop drama meets urban fantasy. The Evolution of Cooperation by Robert Axelrod. After I was moved to the 21st floor to work in AA, Breakout contacted me and handed me this pamphlet. Arpad Kovacs' autobiography. No rational explanation. A strictly forbidden read according to all Walton Media employee regulations. I look so happy in this picture of my first day in Walton Media. Ah, ignorance is bliss. If someone ever saw these sticky notes, I'd be in big trouble. If I keep up this crappy high-sugar diet, I should be able to develop type 2 diabetes in no time. Hola, Tali. Que pasa, mi cielo? Breakout sent me this dossier about what was really happening inside Arcadia. It was revealing. Poor Gus Rainey. He's probably pushing up daisies now. <sighs> Trevor, 
I'm back. Get out of the cabin. We are good to go. Okay, one second. Yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. TCH? My high score initials. TCH, Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Fine, Trevor Clarence. Listen, we're going to... Wait, wait, are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Famous last words. My fellow citizens, please pay close attention to the man in this picture. This is 28-year-old Trevor Hills. What on earth? A resident of the Point Sienna Drive District. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. Hills is a severely unstable individual and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable. Or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake. Who could I possibly represent a threat to? If you see this individual, please immediately report him to local authorities. We wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of everyone in Arcadia. <laughs> and that makes three lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. Oh my god! I'm Arcadia's public enemy number one! For now, make sure you're not seen. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the Interceptors to get that whoopee guy? No. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. Sent the interceptors to get that wimpy guy? No. Yeah. That wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. Told you they were gonna call in the cavalry. So why isn't the Robocop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. Come like us. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts! I told you evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon? It's about heels? Yes, we got all... Hey! Hey! Hexagon, elevator has stopped. Reset now. Reset the elevator, damn it! Uh, you gotta try not to be recognized somehow. Uh, grab those clothes, Trevor. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you think this will do the trick? Let's hope so. Doesn't fit the description. Uh, that guy looks like Steven Spielberg. Good, good. Nobody is paying attention to you now. Whew, that's a relief. Okay, Angela, what's the plan now? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Okay, plan B. Aren't we already at C? Whatever. We need to get you into a rental car. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? You know I won't be able to drive if I hear those noises, right? Don't worry about it. As soon as you hear them, just let me know and I'll do the driving. Remotely. And what about after that? 
You slip through the dome's exit, and congratulations, you're a free man. The dome? What on earth is the dome? Oh, wait, let me guess. I'm about to discover another one of Arcadia's intricate lies, right? Sort of. Your attention, please. This is a message from Arcadia Security Forces. We believe the fugitive Trevor Hills may be inside this premises. Man. This building is a complete lockdown. Refrain from leaving the Blue Fountain Mall until further notice. Thank you. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting! Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Oh, look! They have a droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate... Hey, it's that guy! It, 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 it's Trevor Hill! pickup area. Look at the charge status screen. We need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome. Looks like the one in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery. Good. Then take that one and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that car on the end! What? What? Something wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. I don't know, man. All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering to you. Angela, didn't you say this car didn't have enough battery to reach the dome? I know, I know, I know, I know, but I need to... Let me handle this, okay? Sweet ride! Shining aerodynamic lines, a masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines- I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh, fine. Let's get going. Uh, Angela? Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton, and this is American Arcadia. Whew, oh my, oh my, looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. Thanks for that, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffanyers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines and, oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. 
I guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo, that burns! The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the boot. But look at this, 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live app now and let us know your thoughts. But we can't forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere. Everything okay, Trevor? How's the car battery? Good, good, still full. This is going smooth as silk. At this pace, we'll reach the dome exit in no time. Let's hope so. Mind if I tune to a little music? Not at all. And you're listening to WABC Hits, Arcadia Station with the finest music around the clock. This is DJ Zoom, the cream of the crop, only Stella, out of sight, number one hits, baby. And the music just keeps coming in this hot Friday afternoon. Ah, <sighs> much better. This is my girl, Meryl Jefferson, with her groovy hit, Don't Be a Fool. Oh, come on, Angela. What? I had nothing to do with it this time, I swear. God, what have I done to deserve this torture? The song is everywhere. Enough already. Everybody loves Merle, man. Don't be a fool as a hit. Inside and outside are... Shit, 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 shit! What? I can see five interceptor cars, and they're heading straight to the Arcadia Dome. Wait, you think they're coming after me? It's very likely. Uh, I have to think of something. Ay, bendito, now what? Yes? Hello, Angela, it's Kendra. Can I come up? Um, I'm a little tied up right now, Kendra. I... Don't worry, it won't be long. I'm coming up. Ay, pero que quiera ahora? What's happening, Angela? <sighs> Kendra's coming up to my apartment, and there's, like, a ton of incriminating material in here. Hey, who's Kendra? My stupid boss. She's coming up. What do I do? Get rid of any compromising material, Angela. I'll help you think from here. Oh, it's gonna take me forever to get rid of these sticky notes. Can't you just Wait, cover you it all up things. somehow? Info about Gus and all that? You don't have that lying around your house, do you? Any forbidden Angela. corporate things? Like, I don't know, anti-Arcadia propaganda? I'll be up to my ass in trouble if Kendra sees this breakout dossier. Angela? These breakout pamphlets won't look good if Kendra finds them. Angela, open the door. I can hear you in there, Angela. Open it now. Door lock override. Opening door. Hey, Kendra, how'd you get in here? Well, all supervisors have access to their employees' apartments, just in case. Why didn't you open the door? I thought something happened to you. Uh, I was going to, but you were faster. Do you mind if I take a look around? Around my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Uh, okay, I guess? Suit yourself. Well, your apartment isn't as cluttered as your office. It still has your personal touch for chaos, though. Thank you, I think. Won't look good in Kendra's eyes. You look nervous, Angela. Is everything okay? Uh, no, apart from my supervisor breaking into my apartment, uh, everything's hunky-dory. Uh, th that's no problem. This board has been erased recently. Oh, yeah, that's why they're called dry erase boards. Cause you can, you know, erase them? Hmm.
Okay. Are you worried? You don't have anything to hide, do you? Oh, aren't we a little paranoid, Kendra? Well, I would certainly hope so. Your blinds are lowered. Yeah, sunset light bothers me. Nothing unusual here. Is there anything wrong with your computer? Why is it off? We're in lockdown. Why do you want me to turn the computer on to beat my Minesweeper high score? Hmm. Angela, please come here. Kendra, what is this all about? Let's lay our cards on the table. We're friends, right? Um, we are? If you were doing anything to harm Walton Media's reputation, I would be deemed directly responsible, and you wouldn't want that. So tell me, how is it possible that you had admin permissions today? Oh, I did? Ugh, that's news to me. Uh, maybe poor Gene got it wrong. He's been under so much stress lately. But you could check the surveillance cameras if you doubt me. I didn't even go near the server room today. Huh. I have one more question, Angela. Answer it and be honest. Are you the one helping Trevor Hills escape Arcadia? No. I am not. Have a nice evening, Kendra. Door locked. Fuera de mi casa. Sounds like everything went sort of okay, huh? <laughs> sort of. I owe you one, man. Wait, you owe me? Come on, Angela. No, really. Thank you, Trevor. You're a good guy. Okay, well, I am going back to my computer now. How's, uh, how's everything going on your side? Good, good. I think I'm reaching the suburb area. When you see the Adam Arena Stadium on your left, drive past it and take the next exit to the suburbs. Hey, Angela, I was wondering, how is it possible for the Arcadia Adams to play against teams from the outside? Oh, all players are NPCs, non-protagonist characters. People who live inside Arcadia but are part of the show, uh, like Vivian. Next topic, connection with Arcadia-born citizens. Now, you've been given some plot points by the story team, but engagement is critical in here, specifically with the ones in your assigned network. Ordinary lives are not interesting by themselves. We gotta make sure that things happen. That's good for the audience, for your assigned citizens, and in the end, for you too. That's what you, what we, are in here for. To be their shitty bosses, their rivals, or BFFs. It all depends. And, who knows, maybe even their spouses. <laughs> it's not common, but it has happened. I mean, I consider myself as the first NPC in Arcadia. Well, not actually the first one. I'm not that old. <laughs> but the thing is, the story team would never ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. So if you ever wondered why everything goes well for the absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people in the city, now you know why. Well, that explains some things. I bet that Romano, my supervisor, is one of those. Could be. I don't know. I only have access to my assigned citizen grid. But, you know, George Bernstein, your neighbor? He was in cahoots with the show from day one. Not Mr. Bernstein. I've known him since I was a kid. Yeah. I, I must have the full list of NPCs somewhere, so if you want, I can... Send it over. No, no, no. There's no need, really. You revealed quite enough of Arcadia's intricate lies for me today. Hey, Angela? I'm beginning to hear that noise again. It's still distant, but... All right, all right. Uh, keep driving until you can't drive anymore. This is horrible. It's hard to describe how it sounds. I, I can't. I, you have to. I, you have to do it. I, I'll take control now, Trevor. Don't worry. 
Look at that. Those things that look like comm towers. I think I saw some at the checkpoint, too. Yeah, you're definitely right. Must be transmitters or something. It's even louder than it was at the checkpoint. I can hear it even if I cover my ears. Trevor, we, uh... Okay, now we have to cross that area. Do not touch the steering wheel or the brakes, please. As if I could. It's hard for me to even blink. Oh, damn it! Oh, God! It's, it's tearing my brain apart! Hold on. Hold on just a little longer, Trevor. Ah! We're almost there. We're almost there. How do you feel now? Like... I had the biggest damn magnet inside my head and someone was pulling on it. But I'm better. I, I feel better. You think you could drive now? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. Good. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here once and for all. Finally. You're gonna make it. Don't say it. Don't say it, Angela. Last time you jinxed it. Yeesh. Okay. But you're out of the transmitter zone, so what could go wrong now? I've been involved in high-speed pursuit for years. I'm not scared of it. I study the road layout, carefully cover all the exits, register everything in a 10-mile radius, and calculate every possibility. I can't afford myself to fail. Not while I'm on duty. Check 392. Stop the car immediately, or face the consequences. Son of a... The interceptors are here! I knew it! Jesus, I knew it! Trevor, step on the gas! These guys are crazy! They're gonna kill me! We're really close, Trevor, just a few miles ahead! They're pushing me off the road! No, 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 no! Trevor! We, we, we didn't see that crashing. Yeah, there's a lot you didn't see. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. See these wounds? Let's say I was lucky to survive a crash at 95 miles per hour. And that was only the first car crash of the weekend. Uh, uh, ow! Oh, Jesus! Uh, Angela! Where am I? Angela? Angela! Are you there? I can't hear- oh, Damn it, I lost my earpiece. I have to- I have to get out of here. Move, Trevor. Come on, move! be really close to the dome exit. I have to get out. Sir, target is not in the car. I repeat, target is not in the car. Search on new coordinates.
Dome exits 31 to 35. This is right ahead. I'm going in the right direction. Sending a damn helicopter to catch me? Really? Three, 
This thing to reach the other side of this damn station. So, oh, how do people even find their way around here? Although I doubt this spot of Arcadia attracts many visitors. The dome exit must be ahead. Huh. There's a scissor lift in here. I could really use Angela's ability to control and or manipulate devices right now.
Eye on the target. Oh, no! Surrender now. Hey, man. Uh, are you okay? Ugh. I broke my leg, you asshole! Yep, looks like you're okay. See ya! to the Arcadia Dome. Come on! Come on! I can almost see the exit sign! No! 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 There's no way out! No! Oh, what do I do now? There's a retractable bridge down there. If only Angela were here... Damn it! It's over, 10-3-92. Don't do anything stupid. Just raise your hands and surrender. <sighs> okay, okay. I, I give up. I've been dealing with dangerous individuals for my entire career. So my measures, extreme or not, are not up for discussion. That's the way I work, period. If you are looking for a little tender, loving care... Hire a babysitter. But if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Hit him. What? Hey, no! I just saw it! We got 10-392. We're bringing him to the core. 